Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Edgar Mendez, and I'm so sorry. I meant to do this way earlier, but I laid down, fell asleep or something. I don't even know. I watched TV. So today we're going to be doing, Taurus, uh, what does your person regret most? I want to thank you for being here. I want to uh, thank you for sharing time and space with me. And definitely want to thank all the people that give you likes and comments. I do appreciate it. I also have services open if you're interested in anything that I am offering. I do have live readings this Sunday um, as well. So well, let's get started, Taurus. Um, let me see. Is there anything else I need to say? Hold on. I'm going to be drawing tarot, by the way, an oracle um, at this day. So uh, we will see. We'll see. So let's take a look. Ah, it's this card, this one. So can you tell me? Um, I guess it's going to be. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's see. Taurus, Taurus. So I feel like right now this person is trying their best to trust. Trust that everything's going to work out. Trust that everything's going to happen the way that they, um, the way that's, it's, I don't want to say meant to happen, but kind of like that, but in the way that's going to make them the most happy. I do feel like this person is in a period of like trust and they're with the solitude here. They're definitely, um, they're definitely keeping to themselves and they're hoping, right, beyond hope that this is going to work out. I feel like this is in reference to your connection, but let's see. Um, we have the seven of swords. It's some. It's in reference to something that they feel um, that they were cheated on or cheated out on, something like that. It, it's there. Um, with this re-energize, I do feel that this person is um, in a period of charging themselves up, um, but this feels different. Let me see. Um, it feels closer to healing. Yeah, it feels closer to healing than it is recharging. Um, and I also feel like with this letting go here, oh, oh by the way, hi, everyone. Sorry, I, I keep, I don't always have that. Um, hi, 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 um, hi. Shire, I don't even know how to say it. I won't bother. I sorry. <laughs> With this letting go, I feel like this is someone who is trying to let go of everything so that they can have a better future um, right now. And the outcome of this is this is someone who's going to be making different choices. You know, when we don't trust or when we make choices from a place of fear, we're constantly going to make the wrong choice. But when we are in um, following our heart, we make better choices and we make the choices that are right for our future. This is someone where I feel that with the positive spin that they're using, it's going to work out for them in the end. And they're hoping that it does. I do feel, um, this is someone who's trying to manifest a positive outcome for your connection. However, it doesn't feel like there, there's a, maybe they're too tired, but I don't know. Let me see. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, oh, I see. Um, right now, this person has to let go of something from their past that is holding them back. So that's actually, I feel, a big block for your connection. Is there any other, anything else that this person is going through? There are things that they're unable to see properly, um, and they're having a hard time having that hope. It's interesting because this is someone who's in a, uh, a holding period and trying to hope, yet there's, some, there's pieces of the puzzle that they're missing that would actually help them hope better. What, but I don't know what this means exactly. With this Eight of Swords here, though, um, and it's reverse, um, I feel here that this is someone who is starting to get gain more clarity, but it's slow. Um, and it does really feel slow to me as well. This feels like very slow moving energy. Um, yeah, one to two years, easy. Um, I'm not sure how long, though, but definitely one to two years. It feels like this is someone who's in a, like, a very slow, um, methodical period of like moving towards with happiness. I know that we sometimes think happiness is like a, a one-off. No, it's one event or something. Or if something happened, we would be so happy. Um, it's never usually just one thing. It has to be many, many things. And I do feel this person is moving towards their happiness, but it, it will take a while for them to feel that completion. Um, and that completion is actually really nice. Um, I remember when I hit it, it was so beautiful. Um, it was just a beautiful feeling. And um, I, I don't know. It, it's been hard to hold on to, I suppose, but it was beautiful. And I'm moving back there, but this is someone who is going in that direction. So let's see. Can you tell me um, how do they feel right now about Taurus? Let's take a look here. We have the Five of Cups in its reverse. I, I, it's so weird to be drawing tarot. Let's see. Um, all righties. I feel like this person is trying to look at this from the positive spin. Um, it's very similar to what I've used actually personally. Um, you know, when you look at situations and they're really terrible and you look at what you gain from it instead of what you lost. Yeah, that's how I did it. I feel like that's actually what they're doing here. They look at what happened in your connection. I do feel like there was some kind of um, separation or argument here, or this person didn't want to commit. It's what I was channeling earlier. Um, but they, they tell themselves that they didn't do it because it was meant to happen later.
But when we, that does help us move through the painful stuff that we cannot change, but it doesn't necessarily strike as truth per se. And I feel like with that nine of pentacles in its reverse, it, have, it actually had to do more with this, with their self-worth. And I feel how they felt about themselves more so than I feel the connection actually being able to work in that moment. Um, let me see. Yeah. Cause the love was there. Um, the love was there. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. It's an odd thing to channel through anyway. Um, let's see. Let's take a, let's take another look here. Uh, any other feelings that they have right now towards Taurus? We have discernment. It's very interesting. I feel in the past, this person wasn't very sure about you, this connection, and maybe even themselves. They're now very sure. Um, and this is actually a really good step in the right direction because this is someone who's not second guessing their feelings for you and second guessing what this could potentially be and especially to do with the future which is actually what their focus is right now how do i get a better future um this is someone who's trying to heal re-energize um and let go of all that doesn't serve them and it's very beautiful it's uh but this is the process let's see is there any other feelings that they have right now they're saying one more we have acceptance. Interesting. This has to do with responsibility. This is someone who is accepting responsibility for what's happened here in your connection. Um, they, I do feel like this person um, didn't give you their best self. Um, what's interesting with this dreaming, I actually feel that they gave you um, the more dreamy parts of themselves rather than being more honest about who they are. And this is something that um, you may notice in the future where they may be more honest about maybe what they've gone through, or maybe be more honest about what they haven't healed, right? Um, I do, you know, I don't explain that. You know, when you meet someone, you try to show them your best self, right? You, you know what I mean? And I, I feel like this is someone who may have regret. I may have actually got that channel message wrong. I think they, they regret showing you just their best self. Yeah, that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like now. They may regret showing you their best self when in fact they should have showed you who they are, the raw deal, right? I think that's how you would phrase it, right? The raw deal, I think so. I don't know. Um, anyway, let's see. Let's see. So, can you tell me? Um, is there anything that Taurus should know about this? Anything that Taurus should know? And hi, everyone. I do appreciate all these being here. So, let's see. Anything else that Taurus should know? Thank you. Alrighty. So we have the hermit. I always get this one. It's the it just won't stop coming out when it's reversed to um Alrighties. One thing that you should know, Taurus, is that you don't have all the answers here. Um, this is partly to do with the fact that this person never told you the truth about all of them, what they've gone through. I want to say their history as well. Um, yeah, stuff like who, who you are. Um, but it's not just that. I do feel with the Ace of Swords um, uh, and it's upright, you will gain the clarity. What's interesting is I feel if the clarity that you get contradicts what you feel it should be you may not actually be able to see what you're being um shown i don't know how to phrase that i like you're like you could be biased i i don't know it's so strange it's a strange thing um i don't know when we get biased energy for these readings but it, it does feel like that um it, it's so be careful um one of the things that i have noticed that's really good to do is kind of to step out of your body to look at things from a different angle to see what you're not seeing i would try that um it's probably going to be one of the best bets right now because i see a lot of views are very easy you're, you're seeing things the way you want to see them rather than how they actually are and uh this is actually i feel a block uh, for your connection because it's what's going to keep things from uh from resolving and completing, all right? Um, with the emperor and its upright though being right here, what does that mean? Mm. Someone's gonna have to take action. Um, and it might actually be some of you, right? Uh, or maybe them, but it does require uh, looking at the situation from a different angle. And it feels the only way to do that is to step out of the body. That's how I, I actually would do it different ways, but that one's a good one. That's the one I'm being suggested now. Step out of your body and look at something and you will be able to see um, the future. Mm -hmm. There is a future here. Support, yes. And then last one, acceptance. I feel that you can be a really good team for each other, a really good, uh, you know, couple. Um, but it requires, it re kind of requires a lot of, uh, I don't want to say acceptance per se. It, it kind of requires a lot of letting go of all the things that are stalling your connection. Um, with this go with the flow here, I actually see that there can be flow in your connection. And in fact, there may, there, I feel like there's supposed to be, uh, but it does require um, some of the, no, positions? No, I don't think that's the right word. Um, it does require some of what you, uh, I, I want to say how you see things, some of uh, the situ 
yeah, it doesn't require you to change how you see certain things because they're not quite right. And this will come from deep reflection. Okay, so let's see what are the regrets that they have um, towards Taurus. What are the regrets that they have towards Taurus right now? Let's see. Uh, it's interesting. They were very narrow minded when it came to what they thought you should be. Um, th this is very typical, very small minded. A this pro person is probably riddled with limiting beliefs that they're unable to even, I want to say, isolate, see, and even heal because their vibration is probably far too low. Um, but with the Page of Pentacles here, this is someone who thought you were supposed to be a very specific type of person the way that they assume, right, someone like you should be, um, and you weren't that. And they couldn't see you for what you are with this Ace of Swords and its reverse. They couldn't see your glory um, as well. So one of this person's biggest regrets is to assume you should look a certain way, act a certain way, and even talk a certain way. Um, and when that didn't match what they assumed, um, this is something that they couldn't get over. And I feel like this person may have, I'm not going to say rejected you, but they may have pulled away. With the Six of Swords here, they let you move away as a result instead of fighting for you the way that they wish they had. Um, it does feel like no matter what, Taurus, you're going to reach where you're meant to go. Um, you just won't do it with them. And this is something that I feel um, this person regrets. This may change. It could be them. Who knows? But that feeling's coming through where you are moving no matter what towards what you were meant for. And the fact that this person couldn't see it, um, it feels like they are going to be left behind now. Can I, I will get a clarifier on that. The Ace of Cups is upright. Um, they won't be left behind, but they will be behind you. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. Like it's like, they're going to follow you. Um, let's see. Is there any other uh, regrets that they have? Um, they really wish they told you their feelings and they never did. They were not proud enough to tell you how they felt about you. And I, I, I know that that's an odd way to say it, but it does feel, those are the words I swear I'm getting. It's, it's almost like they were not embarrassed. I, I don't feel like it's that, but they may have felt maybe if a lot of people didn't like you or something, or uh, maybe if, their friends didn't. It was hard for them to stand up and be like, I actually care about this person. I think that they're wonderful. I don't know. It just, it's the message. But with the Ten of Wands here, um, they gave up before they were too tired. And it's something that they have a hard time dealing with now um, because they know that they had more fight in them. And they chose not to fight. That's a ooh, that's a that's a pretty big choice uh, to to make and to kind of carry on your shoulders. All right. Uh, we have the Two of Pentacles here for regrets. I think juggling you, also comparing you to what they thought you should look like, it kind of feels like, you know, maybe you think about the one, oh, they, they should look just like this. And then you were looking like something else. And they're like, wait a second, that doesn't match. I feel like they just, they kept waiting for someone else, but someone else never came. <laughs> um, sorry. I, someone else hasn't come yet. And um, this person is now stuck, stuck with a choice that they made and a choice that they really believe was the right one. And it has to do with not the truth, but with the limiting beliefs that they possess. All right. So let's see, is there any, um, is there anything else about this person's regrets towards, um, Taurus? We have a discernment coming through again. Again, they felt the truth that you were it for them, but did they follow that? No, they followed their logic. And this is something that they have a hard time with. It's a regret of theirs. Um, we have go with the flow as a regret. I also feel as well that they should have, um, let your connection move in that direction rather than trying to micromanage everything. When we do that, I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't ever have good results <laughs> with those things. And we have relaxation. Yeah. They wish they really wish that they had just relaxed into this connection, um, embraced the connection and went with the flow. There is love here. Um, I feel like the love though, um, is not, it is assuming that love wasn't enough, um, it, it as well. And this gentleness is interesting. I feel that they, they're, I don't know if they, said it to you, but I feel like their mind is actually quite vicious towards you. And they really wish that they had been more gentle uh, with you and been more nicer. All right. So let's see a last little thing. Is there any other guidance that you have right now for Taurus? Let's see. We have the Hierophant. Mm. One of the things that they are suggesting right now, Taurus, is that you look at some of your traditions, habits, and customs and belief systems. Um, I actually feel like you're riddled with a lot of stuff that is unhelpful for you. Um, and the message is, is for you to be more aware about what's happening in the inner workings of your mind right now, because that's actually holding you back more so than you realize. I know that we look at the world and think they're the block or that's the block, but our mind is, it's always the block, right? It's always what's hindering us. And you have a whole heck of um, a limiting beliefs here. And 
um, it's hurting you. And it's about time that you started to remove those things. Um, can I get, how would they identify? You can actually set it to identify, like your mind to identify when you're when you're you're speaking one or when you're thinking one or when you're interacting with a limiting belief. So you can really start to see that. Um, I remember, I feel like I took this journey, but I can't remember. I think I did. I, I don't know. Anyway, but I know I would have had to do it at one point with the three of swords here and the empress know that no matter how many times you've been hurt, you can't heal yourself. And this is your message. Um, and this is your guidance um, that you are strong enough to do it. But you do have to have um, you do have to have a reason um, to heal. So the reason should be you. But with the eight of cups here, um, I feel like you are ultimately going to um, be looking elsewhere right now for I want to say Mr. or Mrs. Or, or right right now. I feel like I feel that, but it's it's up to you what you do. Okay. Any last guidance right now for Taurus? Move forward. Mm -hmm. We have gratitude. Yes, and then we have blessings. One of the things that your guidance right now um, is to do is know that there is plenty of potential in the future. Whether this connection works out or not, you will be all right. And that is your message, Taurus. Know that you will be all right. All right. So I'm gonna leave it there. I want to thank you, Supernova, um, by the way, as well. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Don't forget to like and comment. And again, I do have services open. Um, I think that's it. I will be posting about a guided meditation. I will be doing that soon, I I'm sure. All right. Thank you, everyone. And take care. Bye.